my vips you are more than welcome to our youtube channel queen rami talks if you are by any chance watching us for the very first time kindly do consider subscribing and hit on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos my name is queen rami and you're welcome on queen rami talks guys our returning subbies thank you so much for all the love and as you saw on the title of the video guys um we are going to be commenting on the story of Entlembali. you know there will be a whole lot of um commentary videos as time goes on but no our channel is not a gossip channel we just want to comment on situations there and there wabona please make sure you watch full videos and share our videos okay without any waste of time guys and i'm sure we all saw the story unfold on our social media where there is a wife who came out and um she spoke about how Entlembali uh, ruined her marriage ruined her life literally you know and we all know the history of Entlembali, the fact that um she was married to to black coffee dj black coffee and then their marriage ended and from what we saw and everything that i'm saying guys is allegedly we are just commenting hey next thing <laughs> but anyway um we all know that we all thought rather that um the marriage ended because she couldn't handle the fact that um her husband cheated on her that's what we thought I mean, she also came out on social media and Tembali came out and she, she was a, a person who was an activist who was standing up for women abuse and all those type of things. And as the public, many of us, we, we sympathized with her. We are women. I mean, we, we, we care for another woman. So we thought that, you know what? black coffee was the the monster in all this black coffee was the bad one in all this and then gish, it now comes out that no actually the very same thing that we were protecting her from feeling sorry for her from she is doing it to another woman <laughs> guys you know when when i was reading those stories that uh, the lady wrote the wife wrote on how uh, and Tambali has been friends with the husband for so long and she literally didn't want anything to do with that man because at that time the guy did not have money and it is the wife that was taking care of the guy and then suddenly now the guy gets hype you know now and Tambali literally i mean there are even videos voice notes that came out confirming that they are literally having an affair and they want to turn it into a, um, a polygamous marriage. And you know, guys, one thing we need to understand as people, and especially men, is to understand that if you are the type of a man who wants a polygamous marriage, who prefers to have a lot of wives, there is nothing wrong with those set up for other people, right? But it's very, very important that you inform your partner from the beginning Beninging from the big A, hey, this at all from the onset, you put it down on the table and you tell them, No, I'm this type of a man, you know, I prefer to be in a polygamous marriage. And you give the wife an option to choose to go further with you or not to. So, one thing that we are seeing with this, even the, the, the shows that are promoting polygamy and all that, is that these people do not talk from the way to go. It's only after you've been with a person for 10 years and then Gwaka Kungenama camera in your home with uh, that man, what's his name? Ubabum Sele Gwaka. The man is asking to take a second wife. Ah, yeah. Thunder, fire, go strike you. <laughs> I don't think that is fair. I don't think there is any man who loves you who can do that. You know, the fact that your reactions must be seen by the whole world on how you are taking the fact that your man has been cheating on you for so long and he now wants to finalize. Because I believe with all my heart that they cheat on you and then once they see that the person that they are cheating on you with is a nice person, that's when they come. They call cameras or they call families and say, uh-uh, it's polygamous marriage. 
and that is the cry of that wife the fact that she stood by the husband for so long and you know guys uh, i know there are a lot of people who will come and say who who asked her to be bob the builder <laughs> who asked her to take her and be there for the husband through his hard times that is what marriage is all about not bob the builder rather a being a helper making sure that you are there for your partner when they need you the most that is she did her wife duties and un until that guy could finally make it and then now he is changing one hair saying it's a polygamous marriage you know so we are literally hurt as a country i saw a lot of videos on tiktok where women are saying yo i used to advocate for anthem bali i used to love her i used to do this and that now they are withdrawing because literally what she is doing it's a wrong thing especially for the fact that she painted herself as this person who was so wrongly done which is a lesson for many 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 people out there there are so many people who like to play victim on social media there are so many people who are so quick to point fingers at people on social media what about the three fingers that are pointing you back hmm? and for me personally guys i don't i don't want to sing that song that an enemy of another woman is yes there are some women who are literally against other women for no reason there are so many women who are jealous of other women and whatever there are some women who will literally go and break people's marriages knowingly you know but what i want to come out and say is that it's not even about that i think what is really happening with anthem bali story is that she's just paying revenge hurt people hurt others you know it takes a, a certain pain for a person to feel like ah they did it to me let me do it to them <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm not laughing about the situation i'm just saying that for her it, it, there's just a lot going on in this situation there is just a lot of hidden emotions that is happening with Entenbal. and for the mere fact that um there are voice notes that came out confirming that i you know, she she's she did do it with the husband and she even has condoms all over yo like you can literally hear how proud she was the arrogance of accepting that you are ready to just sleep guys sex is not just sex I, and i think this is a lesson that we need to teach to primary school kids because had people known from the onset that it's not just what it looks like so the way she was confirming and now the husband has to come on social media and say it's actually not like that so we are literally being played the wife is literally being played because these people it looks like i there's a whole lot of a uh, <laughs> you i almost said <laughs> there's a whole lot of connection that is happening between these two people that i think at this rate the wife is either she accepts and gets out of the marriage or she literally takes it as the blow comes as a polygamous marriage because you can just tell by the statement that that man wrote that i uh, and the wife we won kuningi. like these people it seems like they are not willing by any chance to 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 stop what they are doing or whatever the case may be so what we are seeing here mbali is so hurt and mbali is so hurt by the outcome of her marriage with the husband it, it's a given it's a given looking also at the fact that she came out and and tried to paint the man as this bad person and guys this is a lesson we are living in the times where social media is so powerful you know and i'm not saying when people are coming out and telling their life stories they are either lying or they are just painting people wrong but sometimes most of the time it's always those ones who are the the guilty ones that come out and act like victims you know we remember how she, she tried to paint the man as somebody who does not care for the kids and all that and now we are going to be seeing now uh what's his name black coffee accepted now that he is going to podcast with mcg and so on. we all know what is going to happen a lot of women will be playing victim but we are talking about how this Bali tried to destroy black coffee's career 
No, we are not standing up for men. There are men who are wrong. Black Coffee was wrong for cheating on the wife and all those things. We, we don't know the background of what really happened in that marriage. But one thing that we can say is that there will be people who are coming for him for the fact that he is standing his ground now. Which is what my question goes out to all these women who come and act like victims on social media is that what happens when that man comes and speak? What, what is really happening, you know? Because we all don't know what the future holds. We all never thought that uh, Black Coffee would literally agree to the invitation that came out uh, from, from podcast. So you see, guys, that there is just a lot going on in this situation. But... Hey, <laughs> the wrong one in acrimony will always be there. And right now, all fingers are pointing at Entlembali. Uguti, we sympathized with you for being cheated on, for being a single mother after your husband left you. But you go and do the same thing. You go and stab another woman in the back with the same thing that you wanted sympathy on, you know. So it is literally, literally wrong. And for the husband to just stand up for Entlem Bali and he said, uh, this is uh, what, what, what Entlem Bali did on social media by agreeing to the cheating. It, it's just a boy's thing. Oh my God. <laughs> ha. Ha, some men, guys. Ha, 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 ha. Like, it's literally so, so sad. So basically, that's my point, Duguti. As women, we need to cover one another, you know? And but we're supposed to go to the wife and say, you see this man of yours? Because, yes, we are not only blaming Entlembali. She did not cheat on him alone. And yes, she owes nobody, no loyalty. It's actually the man who is the wrong one in a criminal in this whole thing. Because you may find that he is the one who initiated but the, for the mere fact that Entlem Bali knew that he's a married man. You know, there are other women out there who men go to and they lie to them that I, I'm no longer in that marriage. I mean it for the kids. I mean, uh, excuse me, I long, longer stay with my wife and all those type of things. And then the women fall for the men. That one, I mean, we blame the men. But with Entlem Bali's situation, I, she's the wrong one in acrimony, guys. I see so wrong. It's so wrong because if she is not the one protecting another woman while she is the one who is doing things on social media that supports the protection of women, I she's literally living a double life, you know. And the Bible says a double-minded person ah is unstable in all his ways. And he must not expect anything from the Lord. So that is literally Antlem Bali's situation. She is just double-minded. She is just a double character, you know, in public. Feel sorry for me. Behind closed doors, she knows. <laughs> you know, guys, but at the end of the day, it's a lesson to a whole lot of women. Either that woman just packs her bags and accepts defeat, because, like, guys, I don't believe in the prayers of praying for a cheater. I don't believe in the prayers of going on a fasting and prayer for a cheating man. Like, how, how do you solve that one? Because cheating is a choice. A person literally decides, I'm going to make this choice. And once they take that decision, who are you to change? Even God himself, he says, I've given you the power. Your own choice. The power of a choice. It's up to you. You choose life or death. That Muna, the, the most high God, he gave us a decision to make up our own minds about the choices that we make in life. And that's what I love about God. He is so gentle that he will never force you to do anything right. So that's basically a situation of, of wives out there. How, how do you go and fast and pray? Guys, and I'm saying this with all humility, understanding that situations are not the same. Like I already addressed that there are women who can literally go for your husband just because he's your husband. There are women who, like with Antlem Bali, I mean, she knew, she knew that this man is a married man. She knew, she knew the wife, she knew everything because they've been friends before, you know. So she, she went into the marriage willingly, ready to, to either be number two or to break it.
you know the only thing that she's excited about is the fact that she uses condoms guys there is more to sex than condoms guys condoms can stop spiritual things that are happening sexually condoms can stop demons let me say it like i feel it <laughs> yeah so so help people hurt others guys um women who who have that thing inside of them that is always ready to destroy other people's relationship who are always sad when they see happy couples who are always envying couples out there those are the very women who are always ready to enter people's marriages or to destroy people's relationships and that is so wrong i'm one person i don't believe in karma i believe in the fact that umuntu ya pumagui you you leave a situation and leave a person to hang themselves you hang yourself at the end of the day you can't always um fight every battle and that's what i believe you know so i i feel so sorry for the wife but you don't deserve such you don't deserve such and yeah there is more to life guys and i know it's not easy but what i can tell you is that as a woman you must always be ready to start over always be ready to choose yourself because men will always choose themselves i mean this guy chose himself by by going to go cheat that is literally him choosing himself that is him when he brought out a statement and said um uh, what did he say and said entlembali protected entlembali that is him choosing this cheating situation so now we choose yourself and choosing yourself comes with a lot of hurt, a lot of um, forgiving of yourself. Because you may find that this is not even his first scandal. Anyway, my commentary has come to the end. I hope as a woman out there, you've learned. And we are not saying hey, we are perfect hey, because this and that, because we are married. Hey. At the end of the day, <laughs> We need to love one another. We need to protect each other. Yes, we don't owe each other anything. But you see this man. They know. They know what they are doing. Ah, fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> Until the next video, guys. I love you. Bye.